everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today on the farm I am in the tomato bed and I'm getting ready to do some fall cleanup. Now, um, in Michigan this year we had a lot of extreme heat. It was so hot for so long. We were in a drought for a couple of months and then we got hit with rain and it has rained pretty much non-stop. And so our tomatoes and our peppers did not fare as well as they normally did. And I did see that it was pretty common around the nation. A lot of people had the same problem. We had blight, our leaves just dried up, and our tomatoes were spotty, and they would split open often. But we did get enough to put some away, and we got, um, I put away some salsa, and I've made some tomatoes for soups. And I'm hoping that we, you know, we do have some good tomatoes in here, and I'm hoping to have enough to uh, actually get some uh, pasta sauce made up for these. I'm wearing these gloves because in here, not only are there some, some smushed tomatoes and they're kind of gross to pick up, but there are a lot of peppers in here. I planted some jalapeno, and I have a bunch of jalapeno here in front of me, and um, there are some super hot ghost peppers in here somewhere and there's habanero and there's some serrano down the line and so I don't want to actually be you know pawing through the dirt and actually be getting those oils and seeds on my hands so I'm going to be careful and just wear my gloves so I'm going to show you how I dig through the the jungle get these tomatoes out of the cages and um, clean this bed so let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, the goal here is to get these cages out, free the tomatoes without damaging the fruit or twisting and bending the cages. I um, think it's important here to start at the bottom as close to the ground as possible and gently pull out the vine and pull off the fruit. This is very good because if you've ever tried to pull a tomato cage while the plant is still in there. It's a lot of tugging and twisting and bending and it mutilates the 